Hello, this is Roger Cruz, um, and I'm making this video today to show you how to send invoices on Wix. So if you wanted to send an invoice, um, what you would want to do is go to Customer Management. And then when you're inside Customer Management, you can go to Price Quotes or Invoices. Quotes is just a quote, and invoice means that you're trying to get paid. And if you send a quote and they accept the quote, then it'll automatically turn into an invoice, just to let you know. So now what we're going to do here is I'm going to hit get started. I'm going to hit create invoice. I'm going to choose a customer. I'm going to choose me for this customer. Usually you'll fill out customer information here. And uh, we're going to put a new product. It's going to be called test. Test invoice. $1. You can do that any price range or you can just make the description. But this way, it's quicker for the future. So it's in your, your thing now. And you can also invoice for more than one item. So if you need to break it down in the sections. And then you can put a little note here, like, thanks for your order. And then let them know, you know, how long they have to pay, things of this nature. And now you can hit send or save as draft. So I'm going to save it as a draft. Okay. Because I may just want to print it and send it to the customer. So now it's here in the same invoice folder. And uh, see, nothing's been sent, nothing's overdue, and nothing's been paid. And now I can either send it, I can uh, preview it and see what the customer is going to see. I can edit it if I need to change any amounts and go back to the other page we were just at. We were just that. Save it again. And I can also save it as a PDF and print it if I want to do it that way. I can print it. Um, you can save it as a PDF and email it. Whatever you want to do, you can duplicate it. Um, add a payment, like we wanted to add 50 cents for a partial payment. Um, or we can just send it. So now I'm going to go ahead and send it. This is what they come up with for us to send out. I think it's professional looking. And boom, now the invoice gets sent. And to show you, customer will now be here. See the invoice. And this is what the customer sees. Right here. Okay. There's no invoice has been sent. And we can also put payment methods here. We could put PayPal and we could put credit card or we could just send it like this and then they have to, you know, get back with us and do a check or sell us the money or transfer it through any of the multitude of services that are available. Um, and through this program, we can link to things like Square. Uh, we can link to uh, um, Stripe, PayPal. These are some options. But if you want to um, not incur those fees, then you could just give them the invoice and have them transfer the money another way or write you a check or cash, but so at least documents the invoice. Plus now it's documented in your dashboard in Wix. So you can kind of keep track of it. If you got a lot of invoices out, it just kind of helps you stay organized. If you want to do payments, then you would go to this page, which is accept payments and just set up the credit card, PayPal, Alipay, cash, square, you know, all these things are available. Um, you can connect them. Uh, so there's a multitude of them available. Um, and when you go to the credit cards, it'll give you some options. You can get it with Wix. Um, you can uh, even change your providers. So you could use Square, Braintree, Stripe, or Moolah, which is actually authorized.net. And some banks have a connection with them. So you can keep that in mind as well. You want to have it through your bank. Um, once you receive your first payment, you must complete.